here's a taskmaster to tell you what to do. But we do have a job. If you're smart and you're cool and you're benevolent and you want to be a force for good, not only in your country but in the world, I think you're doing the right thing. You're inspiring young people to sit down and read a book. Yeah, they got, they're young, they can do everything else, but when they come into your house, they're coming in to get better. They're coming in to improve their mind, because eventually they're voting. And think about this, when you see those obnoxious, uh, very loud, and everyone I'm at my age, everyone's not obnoxious and young. But when you see these loud, obnoxious young people, those ridiculous, stupid, bright red headphones with a skull on the side, and they're probably listening to some dire crap, MP3, whatever they're listening to, it's probably abhorrent and, and bad and pitch corrected. <laughs> Do you realize that many of them will be able to vote in the next presidential election? That is really something to consider. A 10th or 11th grader could possibly be voting next time around. I take that very, very seriously. Like, boy, you better learn them up good. Because when you give them that much leash to let them vote, that is huge. And you better teach them something. You better, you better, you better tell them that books are the way to go. You all are doing that. And so basically, I basically came here to kneel in front of you and do this. Because the service that you all provide, it just can't be undermentioned, uh, or overmentioned, rather. It's, it's astonishing. And so, I know that you deal with frustration. I know that whenever there's a cut to any kind of funding, libraries get it right in the kidney. I get it, I get it. Uh, I, I hope that you are not overly awed, and that you persevere through uh, any of our country's wrinkles and folds as we keep evolving and getting up the road to our brighter, shinier, happier utopian future that I'm definitely knowing is going to happen. But you all are part of that, and I just wanted to come here today and remind you of that, because I don't know, if you're so busy doing it, those who do are always aware of what you do, like a fireman, like you're a hero, no, I'm not a fireman, do my thing. But what you do is heroic, don't have time to think about it. And so what you do is heroic, and what you do is patriotic. And what you do it is is looking. It, it is futuristic. You are you are shepherding and steering the very future of America. And that sounds kind of huge, but I'm right about that. I am right, and it's you. And that's why I'm in awe of standing in front of all of you today. Thank you, and have a, a wonderful convention. Thank you.